Hey guys, Terry Butts, Strength and Endurance. Uh, today I want to talk to you about um, VO2 max versus your lactate threshold or aka anaerobic threshold. Um, your VO2 is basically, in layman's terms, how much, uh, when, when you take in a breath, how much oxygen your body actually utilizes. Um, so the higher that number, the more efficient you are. Some people believe that the VO2 max is what determines you as an athlete to be a great athlete or endurance athlete, um, but that's not true. You also have your lactate threshold, um, which gives you a number very similar to your VO2 max, can be determined very similar to your VO2 max, um, and it's usually about 75 to 90 percent of that uh, max. The key is, is you know, you have and, and so that, that's another number. It, it, just because you have a high lactate threshold doesn't mean that you're going to be a great endurance athlete either. Actually, the two, the closer you are to both in, in total numbers, the, the better athlete you will be. So what I mean is if you have an athlete, uh, for one athlete that has uh, VO2 max of 60 and a lactate threshold of 40, Okay, then the second athlete has a VO2 max of 60 and his lactate threshold is 55. He's the more efficient athlete and he's going to actually uh, be the better endurance athlete. And the higher your lactate threshold number is, um, the good thing about that is, is it, it determines when your body's going to come out of the efficient aerobic system and go into that anaerobic system, um, which is you know, uh, also a good thing because that's where your power comes from, your lactate power. Um, that's give you a quick burst um, in cycling, you know, when you can jump on the pedals and, and take off or when you're running for the finish line, you make that extra, you know, uh, uh, burst of energy to, to get to the end. Those, so, so it's not always a bad thing uh, when you go into the lactate. But the, the athlete that can, you know, have several bursts, and then recover quickly and then give another burst and recover quickly and give another burst. That's what makes that athlete a great endurance athlete. Um, you can actually utilize the, you know, I can, for instance, I can refer to the Tour de France this year where Andy Schleck and, and uh, Alberto Contador were, were uh, uh, fighting it out on the, in the, the mountains there. And uh, Schleck just kept going and, get, and, you know, just trying to take off and drop Contador and, and Contador would respond. And this went on and on and on. Um, you know, and so that's why they are who they are. But, you know, I would venture to say that both of those athletes have a high VO2 max and a high lactate threshold. So, you know, how do you determine this? Uh, you know, there's a lot of ways that you can determine this and, and tests that you can do. We actually at Strength and Endurance utilize what's called the IMET system, the Individual Metabolic Testing System. Uh, the IMET system allows us to test your VO2 max, okay, and your lactate threshold, and then uh, come up with the numbers, and it also will help determine your heart rate training zones. Uh, you know, we sell thousands of heart rate monitors and uh, gadgets at Try Running, uh, my running shoe uh, triathlon shop, and I, I, probably 90% of them don't even know what their heart rate training zones are. They're, they're utilizing the old method of 220 minus your age plus you know, this and that, and, and look, it's, it's not even close. So the, the thousands of athletes that I've trained over the years, I can tell you that that's a very inaccurate system. So, uh, yes, it is one way, but it's, it's not very accurate at all. So if you're going to spend the money on a piece of gear, you might as well get the most out of it. So anyway, make sure you're taking a, a, a good accurate field test or at least getting, you know, down to your local, um, uh, strength and endurance or, you know, company like us that actually has a individual metabolic testing system. And the reason we went with the IMED is because it's the most accurate. It's utilized the best by the best institutes in, in the world to test the, the, the most elite uh, athletes um, out there. So uh, I know I talked a lot about different things, but again, uh, I think the key is to, you know, if, if you're going to train for something, you need to have the right training zones. You need to know what your VO2 max is. You need to know what your lactate threshold is because you can train at or near those and push those back a little bit and make yourself a more efficient athlete. Um, and if you just go out and run day after day and you're not training near at or near that lactate threshold, you're not going to get any better. And, uh, you know, so 
and then the recovery for that, uh, you know, when you're there, you train hard and then you come out of it and then you go back into it. And, and again, that's also, like I said, going to make you a better athlete. So until next time, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was informative for you and we'll talk to you soon. Uh, stop by, visit our website, strengthenedurance.com. See what we got. And if you're in the area and you want to be tested by the IMET system, um, uh, let me know. Uh, contact me at Terry at strengthandendurance.com. Terry at strengthandendurance.com. Train hard and train smart.